Hello everyone, this is Alex Ipatov and this is the second video on the series of Rook N games. In this video I'm going to talk about the Lucina position. The Lucina position is right in your screens, so it's wide to play and win. But how can we do this? Our king is stuck on g8 and it can go to neither h7 because the h file is covered by the black's rook, neither to f file because the black king covers this. Of course, we can try to make one more check. Okay, let's say if it's black to move, black plays rook h3. Just waiting. White can play a rook e1 check. King d7 and king f7. And it seems white wins. But it's not that easy because the black rook can start checking now. King g6, rook g3 check. King h7, rook h3 check. Well, if king g8, then rook h2 back. King f7, rook f2 check. King g6, rook g2 check. King f6, rook f2 check. King g5, rook g2 check. And so on. So rook e1 check and king f7 doesn't work. So how to win here? So black plays rook h3 and waits. Black's defensive idea is pretty easy. Just to wait with the rook on the h file and with the king on e file. Whenever white plays rook e1 check, then king d7. And as we had already seen, king f7 doesn't work right away because the black rook is long enough to check. So, the winning method that was discovered by Lucina a few hundred years ago is based on building the bridge. So, what does it mean to build the bridge? It means that we put our rook on the first rank, so rook f4, and our idea is to play rook e4 check and cut off the black king on one more file and then go out with our king so king g8 king f7 and when the black rook starts to check we will be able to hide from checks by playing rook g4 so let's take a look how does it happen okay rook h1 black's best and only plan is to wait on the h file with the rook so we play rook e4 check, we cut off the black king on one more file, king d7, and we play king f7. We threaten to play g8 queen, so black doesn't have time to do something, so rook f1 is the only move. White plays king g6, threatening g8 queen once again, so black doesn't have time to wait, so rook g1 is forced. And now white plays king f6. Now g8 queen is not a threat yet. But now white has the other threat, is to play rook e5 followed by rook g5, closing the g file for the black rook. And so what can black do here? If he waits, then we play rook e5, and followed by rook g5. And white promotes the g-pawn. If black plays king d6, we can't play rook e5 here because black has rook takes g7. And it's a draw, rook e6 check, then king d5. After king d6, we can cut off the black king on one more file. And then it's a simple one. We play rook d8 and g8 queen is the next move. And the king simply escapes from checks. Rook f1, king e5, rook e1, king f4, and so on. So king d6 doesn't save the day for black. Well, let's see what happens after rook f1 check. Then white plays king g5. Now g8 queen is threat. Black makes one more check, rook g1 check, and rook g4. There are no more checks, and g8 queen wins. So this is the Lucina position. A very important position to remember. The idea is to build the bridge on the fourth rank, and then cut off the opponent's king on one more file, to have two files between the pawn and the opponent's king, so between our g pawn and uh, the d file, and then go out with our king from g8 and uh, hide from checks by the black rook by playing rook g4. That was the second video on rook endgames. Thank you for watching, it was Alex Ipatov.